Are you ready? What's going on, guys? Welcome by. It's uh, another weekend. It's another weekend. It's time for Lost Again for me. It is time for Lost Again for me. I am happy. I am happy. I'm ready to watch some Lost. I've been enjoying this show a lot. Not gonna lie. I've been enjoying this show. Um, but I have to put myself on a schedule because if I don't, I'm gonna end up watching this show for the entire weekend. <laughs> so let's jump into the reaction. I will see you guys for the review. What the hell? An electrical cable? How to score the house call, Dr. Quinn? Trying to ease your conscience? My conscience is fine, thanks. Of course, what do you got to feel guilty about? I mean, you just let that damn Arab torture me. It's the only reason you're here. I'm here because no one else wants anything to do with you. This. So don't even. She does. Change your own bandages. I wasn't looking for anything. Is that because of what happened? Because of what he did? It was an accident. Yeah, well, accidents happen when you torture people, Jack. Tripwire? Oh, things could be much, much worse, my guy. But thank God y'all not being attacked like every day by <laughs> wild animals. Get Alex. What? Where is Alex? Who are you? Boy, it's Alex. <laughs> Please listen up. Where is Alex? I don't know where is Alex. Alex? <laughs> Why are you asking the question? <laughs> really? And all the beat the confession out of him? Your Shiite already... friends have already implicated you in the bombing. Confess it. Confess it, and perhaps it will only cost you your hands instead of your life. <coughs> For now. And I'll enjoy it while it lasts. That reminds me, sir. In addition to your increased responsibilities, promotion is commensurate with your move. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Good. What are you guys doing out in the jungle at night? Best time to hunt. Ethan here has some experience. Spotted some tracks, look like they might be rabbit or some other rodent. Mr. Locke, are you going back out to hunt? For a bit? Can I go with you? I mean, I just want to learn how to do judo. Walt! I was just, I was just talking to Mr. Locke. I know what you were doing. Not gonna happen, man. Let's get back to bed. You're a child. Whoa. You can learn dude. how to do that in the daytime. What? <laughs> I'm a survivor of a plane crash. I found a wire on the beach. I followed it. I, th I thought it might have something to do with the transmission we picked up on our receiver. 16 years. Has it really been that long? Yeah. 
You just happen to hear my distress call? I know what you are. Oh my god. We cannot tie Nura ben Jazim directly to the bombing, but we know where her sympathies lie. She's a known associate of Kurdish and Shia insurgents. You think she knows who orchestrated the bombing? Well, that, my friend, is exactly what you will find out. You don't remember me? Am I so different from the little girl in the schoolyard who used to push you in the mud? Nadia. And now you're a traitor to your country. Tell me what you know about the bombing in Najaf. Tell me or I swear I will hurt you. It is not my first interrogation by the Republican Guard. This is where they burned me with acid. Holy shit. They pierced my hands with a drill. Would you like to see the soles of my feet? The people you swear allegiance to. If you were innocent, I'm sorry. But this bombing is a different matter. I'm not going to tell you anything. Yeesh. Then I'm going to hurt you. I know. Alex, who is he? So you heard my transmission. Came looking for me for answers. I didn't know you were alive. Still lying. I'm not lying. Lies. Nothing. Like this plane crash that you survived. I left them. Why? There was. I did something. And Nadia. You left her too. She wasn't on the plane. Oh. She wasn't on the plane. Okay. She's dead. I'm so sorry. This woman has been in the jungle for too long. <laughs> what is written on the back of your photograph? What are you doing? Did she write it? Or did you? Perhaps you don't want to tell me because it causes too much pain. You don't need to do that. A freaking dirty ass needle into a person, man. Ah, the box. How the, um... did you come to be on this island, Daniel? Here too. We were part of a science team. A science team armed with rifles. Our vessel was three days out of Tahiti when our instruments malfunctioned. Let them explain. Bridge beyond repair. Nearly two months we survived here. Two months before. Your distress signal. The message I heard. We were coming back from the Black Rock. They were the carriers. Who were the carriers? direction choice here on a point something out that you probably don't notice um great tv is all about mostly about suspense it's mostly about suspense one of the things that i'm noticing here is that she's telling a story and you're not showing any sort of flashback i don't know if it's going to happen right after i click play again but <laughs> I'm just saying it's something that I noticed and it's a great direction choice to not show any flashbacks while she's doing it because they still want to keep us, the audience, in suspense about what actually happened. Maybe they'll reveal it later, later on in the series or something like that about what really happened to her crew and stuff like that. But they're giving her this moment, if you will. They're giving her this moment to... You know, bust out the acting chops and kind of keep us on the edge of our seats to, you know, know what really happened. Because some shows will go there, as into while she's telling the story there, they'll show like some brief, you know, 
flashbacks of what really happened and not, and they could do it in a way where give us a brief flashback of what happened not really showing the other people's faces or anything like that or they could do that i i think that kind of ruins ruins the moment i think this is a better way to do it it's what i'm trying to say the others what others no but i hear them out there in the jungle yeah this one has been jungle for too long <laughs> You think I'm insane? Yeah. <laughs> and rightly so. I, I mean, yeah, she's been out here for too long, man. All you need to do is not. If you prove you're willing to cooperate, I think I can get them to free you. Then I won't have these visits to look forward to anymore. This isn't a game, Nadia. Yet you keep playing it, Sayed. Please let me go. Go. Back to the people I told you about. Not safe. What's not safe? You need me. You can't leave. Tanya. <laughs> Might be that thing out there. The monster. There's no such thing as monsters. You have to execute her. What? The Jazim woman has given us nothing. This will send a message to the others who will not talk. Now bring her outside and shoot her. Or I will. Well, damn. Just like that. Is this a problem? This man, it is crazy. Did you bring me today? Put it on. Put the gun down, Daniel. Put it down on the ground. Her? I'll take it from here. Forty meters outside this door. There's a supply truck that will be leaving shortly. They don't check them on the way out. Only coming in. Get inside. Cover yourself any way that you can. They won't reach the city for 30 minutes. That's enough time for you to jump out and hide yourself. Come with me. They would kill my family. Damn. I don't have your courage. You have more than you know. Nadia, you have to go. Say Did he kill us? Oh. Yo! That's no Saeed. good. Now you have to come with me. They'll kill you. No. You escaped. You stole my gun and you shot him. And then you shot me. Oh, that's where you got the bullet wound. Saeed. Please, not. What is it that she wrote? Please, I don't wish to hurt you. You already have. Don't. Oh, didn't even check to see if the, it works. <laughs> firing pin has been removed. Robert didn't notice it was missing either. When I shot him, he was sick. Sick? He took them. One after the other. You killed them. What would have happened if we were rescued? I couldn't let that happen. I won't. What are I'm you talking sick. about? I can't let you go. Don't you understand? No. Do we have someone? You crazy loon. To talk to. To touch. So you're gonna Find kill? The next life. If not in this one. Is that what she wrote on the picture? What? The writing on the back of Nadia's photograph. I know what it's like to hold on to someone. Oh, so he doesn't know if she's dead or not. But 
the more I hold on, the more I pull away from those around me. The only way of this, this place is with their help. She needs Come with me. contact is so important. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You to be alone, Danielle. That is the perfect name, actually. Perfect title for this episode, actually. Watch them. Watch them closely. So she's not going back with him? Come on. Does your father know you're here? Can you teach me how to do that? I don't think this is a good idea, man. To give a child a knife. <laughs> as much as he needs to learn. But <laughs> it really does. I mean, it doesn't explain that wire coming out of the water. Oh, is he hearing the whispers? Wait a, wait a minute. So, this episode was very um, subtle in the way how they did things. Um, very subtle. You know, they tried not to do too much. You know what I mean? Like, they tried not to do too much this episode. It was just a fun episode. Um, on, you know, the main cast, they really just was trying to kick it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get their mind off of the stress of it because we've been going non-stop for the past eight episodes so this episode it kind of kind of try to find that balance of you know what i'm saying some people having fun but also saeed knowing that he's by himself you know um and it's not fun and we actually got introduced to a new character um danielle that turns out to be she's the woman that was on the, the radio the distress call um this is interesting for a few reasons a few reasons why i find this very this episode very interesting and the way how they did it the direction of the episode and everything i mean not only did they contrast what's happening between these two groups the whole solitary we also got the backstory of saeed and the woman in the picture um and it's interesting because i mean if she shows up later in the series that's going to be interesting as well um of course i don't think that this is the last we've seen of danielle um also playing on the concept of the is this a concept or really just when it comes on to when it comes on to this series and the things that I, the, the things that I, I, I realize that happens a lot when it comes on to this series is a lot of contrasting going on between characters and also between scenes as well. Um, you know, you have certain people in certain situations that they have to deal with and they still got to deal with life in general, right? So there's a lot of parallels that you can draw here as well from from the show and real life as well which is what i try to do most of the time when i watch these shows right one of them being it's not cool to be alone right it's just it's not it's it's not a cool thing contact is necessary for human beings it's necessary it, not everybody get to to have it but contact is definitely necessary um it's good to get away sometimes and and be alone of course um but stuff like that will drive a human being crazy that's why it's it, it's it's even a way that people use you know as torture you know what i'm saying in prison you do something bad they lock you up in solitary um confinement because it's a way of torture without you know without the physical harm and stuff like that it is torture 
to be alone. It can drive you nuts not to see anybody, no sunlight, no, you get what I'm trying to say? Like it, it's, it's, it's stuff that can drive you nuts. Uh, we can see some of those results from Danielle being alone for all this time. You become paranoid. You become, it's, it's just certain things that, that happen to the human body itself, your mind, your mental, right? It will drive you nuts. And it's totally understandable. You know what I mean? It's totally understandable from the standpoint of we, we, we need in human contact, whether it, it doesn't have to be from, you know, physical contact, just talking to people. You get what I'm saying? It's one of the things that I encourage people to do. Get out of the house, talk to other people, go visit your family. You know what I mean? Um, I was actually just talking about this on stream the other day, but I was like, you know, it's important to do those things because you, even if you're by yourself and you feel like, you know, you, even if you're by yourself and you want to get to the, you, you, you really do want to get to the point where, um, certain things are happening in your life and you just don't want to be around anyone. One of the things that you can do is go out there and speak to people. It doesn't have to be random people. It could be family. If you don't have family to talk to, there's plenty of other places that you can go meet people. But that's the thing about it today is everybody seek a lot of validation from social media. And that's the age that we're living in. I don't advise that that's the best way to go about it. And that's the reason why I have this kind of like don't care attitude about a lot of things in life, especially nowadays in these modern times that we live in, because validation from the internet, is not real. You get what I'm trying to say? It's not, it's not real. You shouldn't seek your validation that way. As a matter of fact, you should validate yourself, understand that you are an individual that exists. You have talents, you have all of this stuff. You're an individual. You are a human being. You were put on this earth for a purpose. So figure out what that purpose is. It's not to be on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Looking for likes. You know what I mean? It's not Facebook putting up a, a, a quote and all of this other stuff. And all that stuff is great. But if you're not, if there's no action behind it, it's useless. And that's what a lot of people do these days, especially these younger people who doesn't understand that if you're out here, you got to be do the work. You know what I'm saying? Don't just, you know, Twitter fingers. You know what I mean? So the contact is necessarily is necessary. But when it comes on to like social media, I don't approve of it because I think it's very empty. I think social media is a very empty thing. You know what I'm saying? When it comes on to, uh, I'm talking about the ones where you just put words. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not talking about stuff like YouTube is a little bit more, you know, interactive because there's video and stuff like that. Most of the time when people post on like Facebook, Instagram, it's all words, you know what I'm saying? Or a picture, you know what I mean? I like the video video is a little bit more, but I still um, when it comes on to like YouTube, it's just you, unless you're having a conversation with somebody else, you know, you're from the video, a podcast, whatever the situation is. Um, but it's still not, I I've seen people on YouTube, you know, seek validation from their fans, from their subscribers and stuff like that. It's not something that I do because I think it's absolutely ridiculous. You get what I'm saying? Um, when people feel like they've done something wrong, you know what I'm saying? when people feel like they've done something wrong and they come on YouTube and they're trying to apologize. And it's like you, to be honest, that person really does not owe you guys anything. It's just like, if I do something wrong, if I choose to apologize, it's a whole different thing, but I'm not seeking validation because at the end of the day, if you guys decide to leave because I make a mistake or something like that, or you feel like I was disingenuous about something or whatever the situation is, I don't owe you jack squat. And that's the, the thing about it is 
a lot of people might think different is is it's like listen if i lose my youtube channel because i did some shit and you guys want to dip that's fine that's okay that's your choice because at the end of the day even if i apologize you're probably going to end up leaving anyway so you get what i'm saying it's a lose-lose situation regardless you get what i'm saying i don't owe people that i don't owe that to subscribers or whatever the situation is but if i choose and them choosing to do that a lot of times when i see people do apology videos on youtube it's kind of like me sitting down here right now yesterday will smith um made an apology video for the whole chris rock situation i know i'm going off on a tangent here uh, but just hear me out for a second right will smith made an apology video coming back i don't know if he's coming back to youtube or just making a video um addressing the situation and you know what you know what is the result of this because he's been literally disappeared for like three months or some shit right so he's making this apology video and one of the things that i noticed about it is that yes he felt like he needed to um address his fans um and people might look at it and say without his fans who would he be you get what i'm saying um he would still be will smith <laughs> you know what i'm saying like he would still be will smith his talent is what you're subscribing to if you will you get what i'm saying his talents is what you're subscribing to his ability to express himself it's kind of like with you subscribing to the channel you like the information that i provide beyond the show i would hope that you're not just here to <laughs> to you know what i'm saying to just look at my face right that's what you're subscribing to it's not you're not subscribing to my life and what goes on in my life yes i understand he did what he did on a public stage but really and truly the conversation that he needs to have is with Chris. He doesn't have an obligation to make an op to make an apology video, apology video to his fans. I don't know why he was apologizing to his fans and all of this other stuff. Like he didn't need to do any of that. He could have come on the video and in the first, I think on the first like five minutes of the video, he was explaining what's the relationship between him and Chris Rock right now, right? And he could have ended the video right there. All the rest of it was not needed. He don't need to apologize to anyone that's, that supports him. Because it has nothing to do with him. Yes, it was disappointing what he did. It wasn't cool what he did. But the only person he needed to really apologize to was Chris Rock. And that's it. And the result of it is that Chris Rock is not ready to talk to him. Mind you, it's probably an irreparable... Um, a relationship at this point you know what i'm saying it's kind of tough slap the man on live tv that ain't cool <laughs> you know what i'm saying that is not cool it's probably that relationship is never going to be the same ever probably not going to have a relationship but really and truly he could have you know what i'm saying it all the results of what he did was going to happen anyway whether he apologized or not the result of it was going to happen anyways right him being banned from the the academy and all of this other stuff right it's all of it is still in effect he does not owe y'all anything you don't owe me anything i'm a huge will, will smith fan i was very disappointed in what he did but he doesn't have to apologize to me because i could give a damn about his, his apology he didn't do nothing to me <laughs> you know what i'm saying he didn't do anything to me you know what I'm saying? Me being disappointed is not a big deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like if I do something and you guys are disappointed, it's not a big deal to y'all. I didn't do anything to y'all. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's unless I directly see one of y'all on the street and I'm just like, um, you know what I'm saying? Man, I don't give a shit about you fans or, or something like that. If I do some crazy foolishness like that, you know what I'm saying? And that's different. You get what I'm saying? Um, you, you know what I mean? It, it's the whole, you know, but as I said, human contact is necessary. 
it is and i mean I know you could make you could probably make the argument when it comes on to certain things that happen in life you could make the argument that you know what i'm saying it's it's just it's necessary to be alone yes sometimes it is you know what i'm saying take that time to be by yourself maybe reflect you know meditate whatever you do it is necessary that is a part of life as well but i would say that's like a 80 20 kind of thing it's like an 80 20 you need more human contact than you need alone you know what i'm saying than you need alone time but that's just me you might have something different you might have a different opinion on it leave it down in the comment section anyways that's all i have to say about this episode it was really cool man really cool episode and i love how they bring brought sawyer back into um the mix um, also it kind of seems like Kate might want some of that Sawyer D. I don't know. <laughs> it seemed like it, two of them might end up together. It seems like there's a weird triangle between Jack Sawyer and Kate right now. I don't know what's the situation there. Um, but I guess we'll see how that re relationship develops. Um, I really do think she likes Jack, but, but Jack is the, is the, um, he's the nice guy. You know what I'm saying? He's the nice guy. Sawyer is the bad boy. So we'll see where she goes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where she goes in, in, in that. But anyways, that's all I have to say. I know I went on a rant there, but that's the beauty of my videos. I can sit here and I can, you know, kind of talk to you guys about, you know, the type of person that I am and how I think. And I think that will provide you guys with a valuable perspective, you know, by not knowing me personally. But it is what it is. You might agree, you might disagree with my takes, but it is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, you know, and the thing about it too is, is, is like this, like when it comes on to loneliness, this is my, my last point, my last point, okay? When it comes on to it, it's like not everybody gets to have that. And that's the thing. That's why I believe that it's even more important because not everybody gets to have that kind of human contact because some people because of situations and stuff like that they're just stuck because your family might not like you and all this other stuff and you're just kind of stuck in that situation where you can't make friends and and things like that and i totally understand that it's not really sometimes it's not a choice it's not that you choose to be alone sometimes you're just alone because of circumstances and i do understand that so I, I, I always extend, you know, a personal, I always extend personal stuff with myself, relationships and stuff like that. If you want to talk, and I always say this on my, well, I don't say it on every video, but I do extend that if you want to talk, you want someone that you can talk to and stuff like that. I might not be available all the time, but if you want to have a conversation about stuff, you want to you know what I'm saying? Kick it, whatever. We could do that on Discord. We could video chat, whatever the situation is. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have anybody to talk to and you feel like, you know, you're stuck or whatever the situation is. And as I said, I might not be available all the time to talk, but I will. We can schedule a time that we could talk, whatever the situation. I always extend that to you guys as my subscribers because I know that there are people out there that, you know what I'm saying? They might want someone to talk to, but they don't have anybody to talk to. You get what I'm saying? So, um, I'm a very chill dude, man. I'm check it out. Anyways, see you guys next time. Peace.